that I don't hear your voice. It's just a right here. Oh, when you lift up, so hard to believe. <clears throat> hey, hey, you guys. Oh, how y'all doing? Welcome. Hey, pretty hustle. Hey, Gerard. Hey, hey, Brittany. Hey, Brittany. Hey, hey, Mimi. Hey, you guys. When you left, I lost the pawn. Okay, let me sage real fast. The song that's playing in the background, Mariah Carey. We belong together. Who's not gonna lean on when times give up? Who's gonna talk to me on the phone till the sun comes up? Wow. So, I mean, hey, I just cut on the little the little internet radio. That's what's playing. Okay? Nobody can take your place. Somebody feel like, somebody's twin feel like can't nobody take their place. Duh. No shit, Sherlock. We know this. We know. Collectively, come on now. It don't get no better than the divine feminine, divine masculine. Come on now. Okay? You guys are better than anybody that this person can pull out their ass. Let's just keep it a real. Let's keep keep it a buck. Let's keep it a stack. Let's keep it a thou wow. You cannot get this energy just anywhere else. I'm just saying, okay? Because this person that ran off and probably committed themselves to an equate version of divine feminine, divine masculine energy, okay? You wanted the equate version, all right? That's what you wanted, you didn't want the real, you didn't want the real thing. This person had the real thing, but I'm going to be honest. Sometimes, and unfortunately, people have to lose the real deal in order to see what they had in, in you know, the other person. Hindsight is 2020, my dear. But I mean, unfortunately, sometimes it's too late after that. Hell, I don't know. For real, ain't that something? Put my imaginary hair behind my ear because you know I'm bald headed because I cut all my hair off. But that's okay. Okay? I'm going to put this imaginary hair behind my ear and we're going to get it popping. You say you like my nails? These is press ons. I just got to, I, I try to do my own nails and I need to go get my feet done. I'll let them do my feet, but not my hands. All right. Until I learn how to do my own feet, which I'm, I'm going to practice and just take my time and do my own feet like for real thank you all right i want to welcome in the divine ancestors into this reading into my sacred space um, of the pure white light both known and unknown my divine warring angels, my spirit guides, my guardians, I welcome you guys into this reading. I ask that you guys step into this energy, into my energy, into my sacred space. I ask that you guys guard the door, okay? Don't let any anything that is not of God, anything that is not of God in my home, in my energy, in my space, around me, in my family, okay? Protect me from all evil eye, nasty projections one 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 views in here so that's my cue my team is here my team has entered the building 
Well, uh, yeah, that's that's why I like to do mine too, and that's why I really want to learn how to do my own feet. It's because I don't like people for real. I'm gonna be honest with you. You know, like I I love people, but I don't like people. I don't like being around people. My anxiety just won't let your girl just go too far. It just reeled me back in. And then because I'm so sensitive to energy, y'all, a crowded room is like my worst nightmare. Like everybody's energy signatures just be speaking loud. And it's just, ugh. And then on top of that, it's a really great self-love ritual. Like, I'm, I'm learning how to pour into myself more. And just because I got the money to spend to do it, it just kind of means more if I do it for myself. It just kind of means more. It's just kind of like a gift to myself to take the time out to do something for myself. That's all. You know, I am a Pisces moon. I'm a Leo. I'm a Leo. Libra rising. Leo sun, Li Libra rising, Pisces moon. All right. So, <clears throat> that Pisces moon makes me extremely sensitive to energy. It makes me extremely intuitive and psychic. That's why I dream and have visions about every doggone thing. I can't even take a nap without having a vision about something for real, okay? My Libra rising is what makes me um, like, was, that's like walking karma. Like people who have like a lot of Libra in their chart, those people are like walking karma. Like you get karma really fast for crossing them. But also we get karma really fast. If we do something out of line, it comes back on us fast too. All right. And my Pisces, my Pis my Leo, and I think I have Leo like a few times other than just like my rising. You know, all right, give me a messages from this person. I've been seeing something about okra water, um, Rakula. I'm scared. Is it nasty? Losing inches off my waist, girl. This must be my sign because I've been, I've been doing like keto. I bought me a treadmill and a elliptical, and I'm gonna give me a weight, a weight thing for my sunroom. I have a sunroom in my house. I'm just kind of like making my own at home gym. And I've been seeing okra water, but I've been scared to drink it. Oh my God. I gotta stop being a kid and grow up and try it. I'ma do it. Like I done seen it come through my timeline about five times already. Then here you are in the comment section. Here you are in the comment section. So maybe that's my sign. <laughs> All right, give me a message for the Divine Collective. Y'all know weight loss ain't easy because your girl like to eat. You know, I'm from, I'm a, I'm a country girl, okay? So I like cornbread and shit and beans and stuff. Like I, I like food, food. Don't play with me. So, oh, wow. I think of you constantly. All right, all right, somebody on your mind. Oh, this, you're on somebody's mind. Thank you. Please don't let me go. So whoever this person is, I ain't gonna say whoever this person is. This is my Twin Flame channel. I be forgetting what channel I'm on, y'all. I don't have to say whoever this person is. Your twin, okay? Your counterpart is thinking about you guys very heavily right now. All right. I don't know. Are we in retrograde or it's like a retrograde or something coming up? Some of y'all may be getting some communication from this person. Okay. This person don't want to let you go. They don't want you to let them go. Look at that. Yeah. Be expecting my call. Yeah. Y'all finna get some communication from your counterpart really soon. Yeah. Tell me more. A lot of communication finna be coming in. From these twins, I don't love them the way I love you. So they are dealing with a third party. They are talking to somebody else. I don't know if they're like in a real like committed relationship with this person or not. But I mean, I heard that it's circum circumstantial or something like that. It's like, I don't know. Beneficial. Maybe they're with this person because it benefits them in some type of way, or it's some it's something dealing with like a circumstance or something. But, you know, it's always been you. So this person has always knew that 
you're the one that they should have been with. Yeah, third party is blocking reunion. So they have a karmic that's blocking some type of reunion. This person should have been back. They know they should have been back. You guys should have been back on speaking terms with your with your twin. Yeah. Tell me more Holy Spirit. Thank you. You've healed enough now. Unblock me, but it came out in reverse. So, ooh, I don't know. Um, it may not be good for y'all to unblock this person right now. You are going to get communication, true enough, but... Um, you know, spirit is just kind of like, I don't think you probably need to unblock this person right now. I'm going to kind of clarify to see why, but this person wants you to unblock them, but your spirit team is just like, nope, <laughs> nope. All right. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. So if you have this person unblock this person's energetically, they want you to unblock them, but it definitely came out in reverse. So, you know, tell me more. Thank you. More cho chos for the ho hoes. Yeah, that's why. Because y'all supposed to be working on y'all money. It's something about your stability. You're supposed to be in your pinnacles or something. So this is why your spirit team was like, it's not, it really wouldn't be a good idea to unblock this person right now because they don't want you to get distracted. So that's what it is. They don't want y'all to get distracted. Yeah. Tell me more. This person will possibly distract you, especially if they're not ready yet. Yeah, if they're still dealing with a karmic soulmate. This person would be um, just coming in just to serve as a distraction from some type of blessing that's coming in for you. Something that God is trying to do for you or, yeah, it's definitely something God is going to bring in for you guys. Something that you've been manifesting or maybe you manifested this a while back, but you've just now started to put the work in to receive this. And this person would kind of distract you, especially as long as they're still dealing with um, Ren and Stimpy or whatever. They just would be a distraction. See? I know I can't give you what you need right now. Yes, person, they can't give you what you need right now. And the fact that they abused you is still like kind of like a blockage because they have to like speak up about what they did to you too. Because ain't no just coming back in your life and not... This person may just want to come back in and not mention what they did, not call their transgressions out to you, not call their demons out. Like, we don't do that. I don't take blanket half-ass apologies no more, okay? The... The more I've grown and stepped into my power and that's it. You won't give me a half-assed apology, okay? For real. And if you can't call your demons out, it ain't nothing to talk about. Actually, you won't even have to apologize to me. I've outgrown all that. So, you know, but if you do, you better, you better do it the right way or I'm going to call you out to your face. And this, you know, this person is kind of giving me a vibe like they don't want to say what they did. I call those blanket apologies. Just something to cover up. Like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry for hurting you. Okay, what did you do to hurt me? Because I need to have an understanding. I need to understand that you understand where you had me fucked up at. If you can't say what you did to me, then I mean, it's null and void. It means absolutely nothing to me. I'm going to act like I ain't hear none of that. Okay? Right. Okay, own your stuff or nothing at all. Either way, period. And I just feel like people who give blanket apologies, they don't like to take accountability. And, you know, we too grown for that. What they say, y'all, it was like a meme going around to say we all want to be grown until it's time to take accountability. Right. Until it's time to apologize the right way. We grown until it's time to apologize. Listen, I know grown people right now personally who cannot apologize. And and don't and and will and will proudly say I don't apologize to people. Oh wow, and you're proud of that. That's you're proud of. It. You said that so. You said that with your chest. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Anyway, Jeepers Creepers is here. So this person definitely keep tabs on you guys. They still watch you online any way they can. If you have any type of um platform, this person watch you guys. But they're cloaking this. They're hiding the fact that they're watching you. And see, and I look at your pictures. I look at your pictures every day. Yeah, this person, they're, they're, they're sending you energy through your pictures collective. And I feel like you may be picking up on this. They're, they're looking at your pictures and they're like sending you telepathic messages. Tell me more. Okay, me too. When somebody say some low vibrational stuff like that, I'd be like, and you proud? Okay, cool. 
I just want to hear you say you proud of it so that God can hear you say you proud of it so that he won't spare no expense when he gets your ass back for that. I say it out loud. I don't apologize to people. Yeah, I don't care. I'm proud. Cool. Please say that out loud so God can know for a fact. Because, you know, God look out for kids and fools. And the moment you say something out loud like that, you are pretty much clarifying that you are not a fool. You know exactly what you're doing. So now that opens you up to receive your karma. Sometimes the only thing that protects a person from getting their karma is the fact that you're still a fool. You see what I'm saying? You're ignorant. You're a fool. You don't know no better. But once you show God, hey, God, I ain't no fool. I know exactly what I'm doing. I meant what I said. Okay, go. Cool. Gotcha. Okay? That's why I make people say that shit with their mouth so, that, so God can hear them say that they knew what they was doing wrong. Tell me more. When I apologize to people, y'all, I look them in their eyes and I tell them what I did wrong to them. Because I want them to understand that I know what I did was wrong. And it hurts me that what I did and my actions hurt them. I look them in their eyes and I tell them what I did to them. And also when a person do that, unless they, unless they slow as hell... It just kind of feel like, I don't know, they're less likely to keep doing it because now they know for a fact that you know that they knew exactly what they did and that it was wrong. Yep. So, so I can't say I didn't know because I just looked you in your face and said out loud what I did. <laughs> Tell me more. Thank you. See, look at this. I feel so guilty in reverse. This is somebody who don't want to take accountability. Yeah, but they don't want to lose you. This person, they're doing things to try to, like, they're trying to do things to suppress this guilty feeling. That's what it is. They're trying to do things so that they won't feel guilty. You know, people do that. They'll try to, um, they'll try to do things to, let me turn this down So, All right, they'll try to do things to, suppress this feeling because they don't want to admit to themselves that they was wrong all right give me another message that's that's wild but y'all i heard a narcissist tell me this one time though it was this girl i knew she was a narcissist and she said that she was just like when i do people wrong she said i know i'll be wrong but i'll just do i'll i'll find something to distract myself so i won't think about what i did so i won't think about you know, what I did to them or how they could feel. She said, I just find something to distract myself. This is some real narcissistic shit, okay? And she said, eventually it'll go away. But you know, when, when you do that, you pretty much silence your conscience. Eventually, your conscience is going to take a seat. Eventually, your conscience will take a seat. Your conscience ain't going to keep... Trying to get your attention. They're going to say, oh, okay, well, you don't need me. And your conscience will take a seat. Whoever this is, this person's conscience probably have taken a seat because they keep ignoring it. And then that's when you get people who move like they don't have a guilty conscience. Because they've ignored it. They, they've, they've ignored it so much. So it just take a seat. Tell me more. Thank you. Look at this. Oop release god forgive me god help me forgive and let go burn letter so you guys could have possibly did some type of burning ritual to heal from what this person did to you somebody actually like wrote it down and burnt it if you haven't did that you need to do that you need to do like a burning ritual i i, I do them if, I, if it's something too heavy on me i'll write down exactly how i feel i don't hide nothing if i need to say all kind of ugly things in the burn letter i'll say it i just got to get that out of me right and then i'll burn it and that way i won't have to walk around harboring these feelings in me okay all right tell me more yeah i never meant to hurt you so this is someone who feel like they're saying that they never meant to hurt you guys collective but they also doing things so that they won't have to feel guilty. So this is somebody who knew that they was wrong. 
They just don't want to feel this way. They don't want to feel like they was wrong. They don't want to feel like they owe you some type of an apology. But even but they know that they was. You are the last person. You're the last person on my mind before I fall asleep. Uh, yeah, but just because this person's conscience have taken a seat, your ancestors are not um, letting this person rest still. So it's not this person's conscience that's wearing them out. It's your ancestors that's wearing this person out. Like, no, you can do it. You can do all you want to try to suppress what you did to the collective, but we're not going to let you forget. We're not going to let you forget. Spirit is not letting this person forget. It's not going to be that simple, um, buddy. You're not going to just suppress this energy and just move forward with your life like everything all gravy. You good. No, spirit is wearing this person out, collective. Because this person needs you. I need you in your pure love. See, you a healer. This person need healing right now as we speak. But this person, they too prideful. Instead of this person calling you calling you and just being real with you, they don't want to do it. Because they know that if they call you and y'all talk, you're going to require them to be open and honest with you. You're not going to let this person give you a blanket apology. You're not just going to accept a, a blanket apology and everything is okay. And then you can we can start over and I'm you're just going to start giving this person your true pure love again, your healing energy again. You're not going to do that. Yeah, you're not going to do that. So this person, no, they can't come in and have do it with you. They can't come in and give you a half apology, speak half truth. You're going to see right past that energy collective. You're going to call this person out and you're going to continue to withhold your, your healing energy back from them. And see, this is bothering them. They need you. Right now as we speak, this person needs you to pour into them. They need you to love up on them. They need you to fill them up. They need you to fill their cup up. But see, you hold the power because you're the one that's the healer. This person is not a healer. You are. They need you. You don't need them. This person hasn't healed enough to vibrate to align with healers yet. They haven't. They need you. They need you. But their betrayal to you is, is pretty much blocking them as well. Ain't that something? If you want to keep a person, if, if you want to keep somebody away from you, let them betray you. If, if somebody betray you, I can guarantee you, if they're not mature, they're going to stay away from you. They're not going to say nothing to you. If, if a person betray you, they will stay away from you. This person's betrayal is keeping them from speaking up, talking to you. It's keeping them away from you. Yeah. See, our situation still affects me. Of course it does. Yeah, because spirit is not giving this person no breaks. Ain't no rest for the wicked. This situation is still affecting this person. And it will always affect this person until they give you the apology that you deserve, collective. Wow, you helped me heal my wounds. Just like I said, you are the healing potion to this person. Then they need a, they need to squig off this bottle, collective. They need it right now. You're the healing antidote. You you're the you're the answer to all this person's problems. Yep. I mean, God is always the answer, but I mean, since you are a light worker, since you're an earth angel, you're the closest thing this person's going to get to God in human form anyway. You're the closest thing, collective. You, This person have lost some type of connection to source, okay? They're not, they're praying. God is not answering this person's prayers. God is pretty much allowing this person to sit, to sit in this energy, Okay? God is, has turned the deaf ear to this person. Because I, oh, wow. I heard that this person has, has cried wolf before. Something about this person crying wolf or something. So this person has promised God before that they was going to do something right or make something right and they didn't do it. I know that's not crying wolf, but this person has promised God before that they was going to do something right. And they didn't. They didn't do it. Yeah, I'm constantly thinking about the last time we made love in Twin Flames. Yep, yeah, look at this. You know why? Because Twin Flame sex hit different. That's just let's just keep it for real, okay? It hits different. You start you help your twin heal their childhood trauma every time you give them your divine sexual energy. Every time you come up off of that good that good healing sex. You help this person to heal. Yeah. And they always think about this. 
Somebody got some healing poom poom, some healing girl style cookies, or somebody got like a healing rod, a healing staff. Yep, and this person need it, but they can't have it. And this is really bothering them, but oh well. Oh well, if they can't come correct and stop giving you half ass apologies and half ass truth, then guess what? They're going to starve. They're going to starve. Look at this. You are my destiny. So this is something that's destined. You and this person have some type of divine contract together. Yeah. Oh, thank you. This is my deck. It's on my website. Um, official, unofficial. Okay. You can get it on the website. All right. Look at that. Self-love. So I feel like, you know, your interaction with this person has taught you how to love yourself, collective. Yeah, this person put you in a position where you had no choice but to focus on yourself and love yourself. Give me another message. Also, y'all, I'm thinking, and I want to know what y'all think, because y'all y'all support everything I do. Anytime I launch something, y'all be flooding my website, getting any and everything I, I promote, and I really appreciate this. I want to run this by y'all before I pour my energy into doing it, Okay. How about, um, cause I've, I've gotten messages from you guys, a few of you guys saying that y'all be wanting to buy my decks, but they are kind of expensive. And the reason why these decks are expensive, and I'm not gonna lie, they are kind of expensive is because they're charging us an arm and a leg to, to make these. They're charging us an arm and a leg. Okay. Um, but I was thinking that I could make smaller versions like i'll have the original version of these deck and then i'll do a mini version it won't, it won't be as many cards it'll probably be like maybe you know 40 50 cards and i'll charge cheaper for just like a mini version of certain decks so like if you can't get the the big you know deck you can just you know get like a mini version of a deck what y'all think let me know Cause I want to kind of like, I want everybody to be able to experience my decks, you know, without having to break the bank. If you don't, if you can't do it right now, I still want you to be able to get something, you know, and that'll be like, you know, just kind of making, trying to find a way to make affordable decks as best as I can on my end anyway. So like I'll redo intrusive thoughts. I won't redo it. I'll make a mini intrusive thoughts deck and it'll just have um, you won't have all the images, but it'll be enough for you to get a good spread. You see what I'm saying? Cause this deck is, uh, this is like 106 cards. Okay. So you won't get 106 cards, but I mean, you will have something. You can do a reading. Like it'll be a mini deck. Right. So, all right, let's pull from another deck. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. It says, I'm sorry I wasn't there for you when you needed me the most. Yeah. This person know that, know that they did not show up for you. They know that they didn't show up. You needed this person and they wasn't there. But I feel like every time you needed this person, every time they needed you, you was there. All right. Let's pull more into it. And let's see what else is going to come out. See, and that's crazy. This person know that they failed you. They know they failed the, 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 the connection. They know, this, they know that they caused you some type of trauma. This person know that you guys are were supposed to be together, for real. But for whatever reason, this person still decided to stick over here with this karmic soulmate. And I'm going to pull on this energy. I just want to kind of see why. I stay awake all night thinking about you. So, yeah, that's because spirit not letting this person rest. Like I said, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be that easy, easy to just walk away like that. Tell me more. Thank you. Yeah, look at this. This person know that they gambled off the connection. This person gambled off the connection collective. This person could also be hiding a, um, a pregnancy by this karmic. So maybe this is how the karmic is able to energetically block this person from coming back towards you. Yeah, but this person is spiritually lost without you because you're this person's better half. 
You are spiritually this person's better half. So they're just miserable. They're stuck. They're lost. All right. For some of y'all, this, this karmic, I heard anchor babies. This person is using kids or a child to anchor this person in with them to slow this person down or to stop this person from coming towards you. Tell me more. Thank you. I miss our, I miss how our relationship used to be. Yeah, they miss how things used to be, but you know, like I said, they get on with the connection off. Tell me more. They didn't appreciate you when they had you. I'm afraid you would do me the same way I did you. And this person is scared that you're going to get your lick back. But I just don't see that. See, sometimes when people are low down, they think that everybody else low down like them. Thieves think everybody is a thief. Liars think that everybody lie. And that's just what it is. All right. This person think that if they let their guards down with you, you're going to get them back for everything that they did to you. Okay. I feel stuck with the wrong person in situation. Yeah, because you are. This person is stuck with the wrong person collective. They know that this per this karmic is not their true love. They know that this karmic is not their wife. They know this karmic is not their husband. They know. But they feel stuck. I know who you are to me and I know we're supposed to be together. Didn't I just say that? Twin flame. This person know that you guys are supposed to be married. You guys are supposed to be married to this person right now as we speak. Right now as we speak collective. They spend a lot of time stalking you guys. You guys are being stalked. I also feel like whoever the, the third party is, this person stalks you guys out of jealousy and envy. They're jealous of you because they feel like they got this person physically, but you have this person spiritually. You just, this person is just like an empty ass shell with them. This person's soul is always with you. Yeah, that's how they feel. Mm. See, I'm ready to see you face to face. This person want to see you. They want to link up. They want to be around you. This person feel like that they was tricked, that this karma tricked them out of, out of this opportunity with you. I'm going to pull, <laughs> I'm going to pull, um, Gonna pull more cards. I want to see how just how did this karmic trick them? Since this person insists that the karmic tricked them, how did this karmic trick this person? If since they insist, all right. Hidden pregnancy. There it is. There it is. Collective. Oh wow. <laughs> so there is a hidden pregnancy. It's here twice. There's a hidden pregnancy. This karmic, for, and this for a group of y'all, the karmic got pregnant. And this person may be hiding this from you with a karmic baby. This is a karmic child. Okay, they're, they're concealing this energy here. But the karmic did this on, pers on, on person. They did this on purpose to keep this person away from this Indian warrior princess. Yeah, you may be like a, a spiritual warrior or something like that. Majestic, fierce, noble, spirited, resilient, graceful, wise, commanding, royalty. You come from a royal lineage. Yeah. So somebody said, well, I'm just going to get pregnant or I'm going to lie and say that this baby is theirs to stop them from being with this, this divine being here. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look at this. And spirit is saying, and that's the truth. Unapologetically real. If you don't like the truth, get, get to stepping. That's the truth. So somebody, mm, so this is why this, this person feel like they were tricked. They were tricked. And if this is a woman, if this is a woman, old dude didn't pull out on purpose. He got her pregnant on purpose. If, if, if she ended up having a baby by this man, it was intentional to keep her away from you. Okay. Yeah. And this person is a copycat. They want to be you so bad. So this karmic want to be you. It said, but they can't copy your spirit, though. They can't copy your spirit. And look at this cat. This cat has green eyes. This person is envious of you. Eyes green with envy. Yeah. So they're with somebody who got pregnant to keep them or lied and said that a child was theirs to keep them who really is envious and, and trying to copy you, trying to copy your spirit. Mm. Spirit is saying that this person is a maniac. Wow. It says a maniac ex-lover is obsessively controlling and possessive, unable to let go. 
They stalk, manipulate, and exert, ex exert undue influence over their ex, driven by delusional, driven by a delusional sense of entitlement to their affection. This behavior is a toxic mix of insecurity and a refusal to respect boundaries, posing a significant threat to their ex's well-being. This karmic is a is a fucking maniac. This karmic is a maniac for real. And this who they left you hanging for. They left you hanging for a weird, delusional, obsessive, geeked out maniac. This person is, is tweaking for real. They done lost their damn mind. Doing everything they can to manipulate, possibly even threatening this person here to keep them away from whoever this majestic being is over here. This is who they left you hanging for. Dang, that's crazy. Yeah. Okay, so tell me more. Wow. Hustle in reverse, but this person couldn't hustle you? Or maybe your person is starting to see, see who this maniac really is, like they can't hustle them anymore? Somebody can't be hustled. Yeah, your, your person see that this, this karmic is toxic as hell. And that, look, loyalty is in reverse, that they're not loyal. They're seeing that this karmic is not loyal. They're poisonous to this person's spirit, draining, manipulative, destruct, destructive, volatile, controlling, harmful, negative, and suffocating. This karmic is toxic as, as, as shit. They're toxic. And they can't hustle this person. They could have been using your person for money, security, support. Yeah, so your person is not letting this karmic hustle them anymore. They're not loyal no way. Tell me more. Thank you. Look at that. Sucker for love came out crossing. And, and, and look at that. Money hungry. Can't make this shit up. It was about money. So your person is not being a sucker for love anymore. That's what was crossing this person. This, your, this karmic has your person nose wide open. And I don't, I'm not understanding why. But your person is just like, I'm not going to be a sucker for you no more. Like, I see who you are. You, you've been using me the whole time. You toxic as hell. You're not loyal. <clears throat> you a finesser. And you really a maniac for real. <clears throat> this person is money hungry. <clears throat> yeah, they. this person dipped on you or hurt you for somebody who was just using them for real. It says, meet the ultimate symbol of greed, a figure that not only hungers for wealth, but drains the energy of those around. An energy vampire thriving on others' resources and vitality, leaving exhaustion and financial ruin in their path. This karmic drained them for everything that they got. Everything that they could get from your person, your twin, they did it. They did it. Yeah. And was sending you the evil eye in the process. Dang. <clears throat> Tell me more, Holy Spirit. What else do I need to know? How does this masculine or this feminine, this 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 twin that we're channeling, how do they currently um how do they currently view this karmic? <sighs> Double minded delusional <clears throat> it says inability to think rationally or make simple decisions a double-minded person is restless and confused in his thoughts and actions and his behavior such a person is always in conflict with himself yet yeah, this person is double-minded and unstable in all their ways collective yeah yeah tell me more and this is also kind of giving bipolar they really think that this karmic is bipolar, like mentally unstable. That, and that makes sense because maniac and double-minded is here. This is all mental energy. <clears throat> all right. How do they feel about the collective? Look at that. Yeah, this person feel like you swept them out of your life. You're protecting yourself. You're pu you have purified your energy. So this person feel like you 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 you're better off without them. They view you as very pure like you guys have got you got rid of them for your own personal growth. Like they feel like you made this call to get rid of them so that you can grow. That's how they feel. Tell me more. 
Look at this. This person hate that they didn't listen to you. Stubborn silence in reverse. Yeah, this person, they hate the fact that they didn't want to hear you out. Something about this person hearing you out. They didn't, they didn't want to hear nothing that you had to say. Because their mind was so made up over here on this third party. See, this person hate the fact that they burnt this bridge with you. They hate the fact that they burnt a bridge that they can never, they feel like they can never cross this bridge again. I don't know exactly everything that this person did, but whatever it did, it was bad for them to feel like they burnt the bridge. They can't never, like you're never going to view them the same way again. That's how they feel. Yep, they, they're grieving because they feel like it's over. They feel like it's really over and you, you, they reveal an ugly side of them. And now that this situation with this karmic has fell apart, that they can't come, they can't cross this bridge with you no more. Yeah. This person could have possibly said some awful things to you. Or maybe you spoke something to this person that came true with strong tongue. You could have spoke something to this person that came true. It says possessing a powerful gift of prophecy. This individual can speak events into existence over others' lives with words that manifest destiny. They wield their ability with care and wisdom, mindful of the impact of their speech. You spoke something over this person. You told this person that this shit was going to fall apart, that this, that this ain't their person. You told this person that this karmic is a liar or cheater. You told that you told this person that this karmic was not who they think who they thought that they were. You told them that this wasn't gonna last. You did. You 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 spoke this. You spoke this collective. This person said something. Think about how you how you something you said came came true. Look at this. Yeah, big mouth energy. This person thought you was just talking shit. They thought whatever you said that you was just talking shit. Okay. Shit talker, gossiper, spreading rumors, foul mouth, yuck mouth, all talk, no action. This person thought that you was just talking shit collective. Like, you don't know what you're talking about. Maybe you're just jealous or da 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 da, da. But you actually spoke the truth. Look at this. You actually spoke the truth. Look at this monitoring ass spirits. All right. Yeah. Broken child is here in reverse. So you guys have taken this time to heal. Yeah. You're healing your childhood wounds. Tell me where. So this is how you were able to kind of like keep your distance away from this person because you worked on healing your childhood trauma. The fact that this person thought that you was just talking shit. Whatever you said, it wasn't for real. And when this stuff started to actually manifest in this person's life. Thank you. Look at this. This person feel left out in the cold. This person needs, they need to take shelter in your energy, but they, they burnt the bridge already. Yeah, the death card. This person did something that kind of really put the nail in the coffin. Yeah. Because look. <clears throat> yeah, I may be sad today, but I'm going to get a bag tomorrow. Y'all are focusing on your money. So this is why earlier in the reading, Spirit was just like, no, don't take this person off block. There's some type of goal that, that you're this close to achieving. And that this person will only come in and serve as a distraction to you right now. And yes, this person is your twin. But right now, until this person completely heals, they will only be a distraction. You have some major blessings that's coming in. Yeah, that's why. I may be sad today, but I'm going to get a bag tomorrow. Yeah. Spirit has something brewing for you guys. They have a big blessing that's coming in. I heard your cup is about to overflow. Yeah, I'm healthy. I'm wealthy. I'm rich. I am that bitch. Yeah, Spirit got something for y'all. Yeah, mirroring. So you mirrored something back to this person collective that triggered them. And I feel like that's another reason why this person's been keeping their distance. Yeah, it says reflection, intimate, uh, Reflection, intimidation, alignment, insight, shadowing, and connection. I'm sorry, imitation. I need my glasses. Well, I'm not going to get up and go get them. Screw it. Okay. Oh, this is something else I feel. Y'all, with this copycat energy here, this karmic was trying to imitate your person. 
Yeah. I'm sorry. They was trying to imitate your energy. They was trying to imitate you. They tried to come off like they was your person. Like they was your person's person. Like they was your person's twin. Your person could have actually thought that at one point that this karmic was their true love. With the imitating energy here. Like imitation. Oh, wow. <laughs> really? Really? Tell me more. Yeah. But Divine Feminine came out in reverse. This came out in reverse. This person tried to imitate a Divine Feminine. 313, that's the truth. Yeah, to, to, to stop this person from coming back towards you guys with roadblocks because they know that this person is really in love with you. Oh, wow. Come on now. You got to be kidding me. Look at that. Can't make it up. It says, I'm not a one in a million type of love. I'm a once in a lifetime type of experience. Yeah, you're once in, you're once in a lifetime. You are, you are a once in a lifetime experience collective. This karmic tried to imitate you. They tried to mirror divine feminine energy. So this is why this bitch was researching you. This is why this karmic was all on your page, looking you up, watching your every move. I was trying to figure out why was this, why was this karmic so obsessed with keeping tabs on you? I was trying to figure out why. Why are they watching the divine feminine or divine masculine so heavy? Because they was trying to take on your energy. They was trying to see what is it about you that this person is still so much in love with. Like, why do this person still talk about you or... Why do they keep finding this person looking you up or in their search history? Why, why is this person still got old pictures, old text messages, old shit that, that you know, especially since y'all not together with this person no more? What is it about you? This karmic feel like I got them physically. I done got pregnant. I done did all this to keep this person away or, or keep them from going back to this divine feminine. What is it about them? Why do I feel like this person's heart is still with them? Why do I keep catching them watching this divine feminine or this divine masculine? Why? This person was sitting up here trying to mirror your energy, trying to gain insight on you, trying to shadow you. Y'all remember, okay, I used to work in a call center. And when I first started, I worked at Chase in a home equity department, okay? And people would come in. New hires would come in and they would sh they would shadow us. Like when I first started, the, the um this was like years ago. Um, I had to shadow this guy named Silas, and shadowing meant I had to do everything. I had to stick by him. My kid shadow literally. I had to take my lunches with him, my breaks with him, everything he did. I had to shadow him. That's how I was able to pick up on how to how to how to uh, do the job. OK, um, this person was shadowing you. I had to sit next to Silas. I had to pay attention to everything that Silas did on the computer. He had to explain everything to me. Da, 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 da. This person is shadowing you guys. And, and it's crazy because they call it shadowing in that, in that department. Yeah. Dang. This who somebody is shadowing you guys energetically, watching your every move, trying to trying to come off like a direct reflection of the divine feminine or the divine masculine so that they can fake a connection with your counterpart. So they can imitate you. Oh, this is buck ass. Wow. This is bug. Wow. Yeah, because they know that you're the key. You guys hold the key. You are the key. And that's just what it is. You hold the key or you are the key to this person's heart. You have the key to this person's heart and their soul. They know this. But they also know it's like this all this person is also preying on the fact that your person is still very much unhealed. And the only reason why they're still able to hold on to this person is because your person ain't healed yet. The moment this person actually grow up spiritually and do the work. They're going to walk away from this person. Yeah, they're going to walk away from them. This is the only real reason why they're able to just hold on to them. Still, yep, look, because this person is still in reverse, divine masculine in reverse. This person has not stepped into their power yet. That's the only reason why. That's the only reason why. 
Because the moment this person wake the hell up, everything is going to blow up. They're going to flip that whole house over. Once they wake up and realize that they've been with a fraud the whole time, they've been with some fake ass shit the whole time, it's over. This is going to explode. Sudden, e sudden events shattering, jolting, unforeseen, devastating, overwhelm, erupt, disruptive. Okay? Yeah. Retribution, judgment, reckoning, balance, correction. The, if the, if the scales are going to balance out, it says payback and vindication. Once this person wake the hell up and realize that they are with somebody who's been copying you the whole time, and they really like a fake divine masculine or a fake divine feminine, they really going to want payback on this karmic. They really going to want payback on them. They going, they're going to resent them. They like, so the whole time you fake as hell. What was all that shit you was talking about? All that stuff you was trying to show me, like, where did that energy go? Because it wasn't real. It wasn't real. They looked you guys up. They took on your energy. They tried to. But see, the reason why your person wasn't able to catch on to the fact that they was copying you is because your person was low vibrational. So they couldn't pick up on this. This went right over your person's head. This went over their head collective. Because if they was awakening, if they was awakened, they'd be like, uh-uh, that's not your energy. You're trying, to, you're trying to act like my divine feminine. You're trying to act like... My divine masculine, you're trying to act like somebody from my past. That's not even your energy for real. Like, chill out, be yourself. But they couldn't pick, they could, they didn't pick up on this. Yeah. Oh, mm -mm -mm. okay. Let's pull from this deck. Wow, y'all, listen. That's crazy. I made this deck, and this is my first time picking up this energy off of this card. Like, that's crazy. Mirroring and copycat imitation. Shadowing. Watching your every move. Trying to learn from you. So they can pretty much try to regurgitate your energy. Present some nasty ass version of your energy to this person. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. But this came out in reverse. All right, so this this karmic is very much not sorry for this. All right, yeah, for 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 feel like they're like ruining a divine connection or attempting to ruin a divine connection. It says soulmate, twin flame, masculine, feminine, spiritual oneness, inner peace, and enlightenment. Yeah, this is somebody who did they did this shit intentionally. They probably didn't know. Yeah, three 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 likes in here. That I mean, three 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 views in here. That's the truth. This karmic did this shit on purpose, and they don't feel bad about it. They may not know the term twin flame, but they know that this is a special connection that is different that they can't really put their finger on. But they know that this is some deep ass shit that this person feel for you. And they did this on purpose. This person was like determined. They was like, I don't know exactly what the hell this is that you and this person have. What type of bond this is that y'all have. But I'm finna ruin it. I'm finna fuck it up. But guess what? Archangel Raphael is going to heal it. Angel of healers and healing has often invoked during travels, illnesses, and to bless marriages. Yeah. So guess what? When this person actually heal, Archangel Raphael is going to step in. Actually, Archangel Raphael is helping this person to heal. So it ain't nothing that this karma can do anyway. Like, you guys, this connection is blessed. As ugly as it seems, as ugly as, as things has did get, this is a blessed union. It don't even matter. Like, what the fuck can you do? This is a fake-ass empress. Soul family in reverse. Empress in reverse. Lovers in reverse. Bitch, you fake as hell. You're not a real empress. You're not a real divine feminine. Okay? You're not a part of this person's soul family at all. You're not even a real soulmate for real. You're just a dark-ass karmic energy. For real. Yeah. Who hides behind maybe social status, career, or some shit like that, or maybe material things. This is a fake plastic ass person. All right, for real. This is a fake, fake ass Barbie energy. That's kind of what it's giving. All right. But the sun is here. The sun is here in reverse. The will of fortune is here in reverse. Everything is in reverse surrounding this fake person here who only care about social status, career, their reputation. Who come off like they're ambition, ambitious, but that's fake as hell. Who come off like they have a lot of achievements, but survey says that's a lie. 
Okay, this is somebody who fakes some type of status or they go after people who have some type of status because like you, you really like a loser for real. You're the son in reverse. You weak as hell. This person is weak. Okay, they struggling spiritually. Their self-esteem is shot. Okay, this person don't have nothing to offer, but maybe looks and that shit may be fake for real. Like this is somebody who ain't even naturally pretty. I'm going to be keep it real with y'all. And, you know, nothing against people that wear makeup because I wear makeup sometimes. Sometimes I feel like putting on a little makeup, but I don't have to wear the shit if I don't want to. You see what I'm saying? Look at this shit. This is somebody who ain't even pretty without it. This bitch need it. You're somebody who don't even need it. You just naturally handsome. You don't have to do extra, extra shit to be beautiful. You are natural. Like, you're beautiful with or without the shit. Okay? You have a natural beauty. This bitch like a clown. Walk around looking like a fucking clown trying to trying to look like somebody that they're not. Like, just be yourself. Okay? Dang. Some people can just get up, roll out the bed, and put a ball cap on and just be pretty as hell. Pretty as shit, handsome as shit, with just a ball cap on and just some damn gym shorts and just be just be handsome, just be cute. You know, they ain't gotta do nothing extra. But guess what? If they do, if they do decide to, you know, put a little makeup on, put a little wig on, whatever, that those are just accessories to them. They don't need that shit for real. They don't need that. Okay? They gonna shit on you with or without it. They gonna shit on you both ways. Mm. This person is a fake divine feminine. They're a fake empress. They are not in this, they're not in this person's soul family. This is definitely a karmic. Soul family is in reverse. So this is no spiritual connection. I'm gonna read it. It says, spiritual connection here to help you grow, support, past life connection, sacred purpose and mission, but the shit came out in reverse. This is not a sacred connection. This person, this karma didn't do shit to help this masculine out at all. If anything, they hindered them or this feminine hindered them. This may be a past life connection, but this is still like a past life karmic connection. All right. This, this karmic do not share a sacred purpose with this person. It's nothing sacred about this, about what they have with this third party. It's nothing sacred about it. They don't share no type of mission with this person at all. This karmic was literally just a sign to come in and just try to blow this masculine or this feminine for they hop, ruin their fucking life. This is like a demonic contract that this, this karmic has to come in and try to destroy this divine union between these divine lovers, between these earth angels. Two, two, two likes in here, period. That's what it is. This is a, this is a demonic contract that this, this is karmic has. Yep. Yep. This karmic don't bring no type of peace to this person's life. This is not their Venus. You're this person's Venus. They lack empathy. They're not abundant. Okay. They don't vibrate on the energy of real growth, real love, real warmth. They're not nurturing. They're not a great, they're not a good mother or a good father at all. This person suck all the way across the board. They suck. You can't invest with this person. You can't, like, they can't grow because this person is going to be codependent. This karmic is very much codependent upon this person here. That's why they're the empress in reverse. The empress in the upright is not codependent upon you. Okay? I mean, you could take care of her because she's definitely one that you should take care of the empress in reverse, but she don't need you. She may want you, but she don't need you. This type of energy needs you. The empress don't need you. Okay. Yeah, there's no love, no harmony. This wasn't a this, I mean, it's just, I don't know. I don't, I don't even feel like this was, I feel I feel like it was fated for them to cross paths with each other, but it wasn't fated for them to still be together. Like they wasn't supposed to be together. Like this is like a wham bam, thank you, ma'am, that turned into some a couple years because the karma got obsessed with somebody's twin and decided to do something to hold on to them. This, this, your person was supposed to fucking duck this karmic, just so y'all know. This is giving fucking duck. They shouldn't have even took their shoes off when they slept with this person. They should have kept their shoes on and fucked them, okay, and left with a, with a condom. They should have strapped up, fucked them, and left, put their pants up and left, and blocked this bitch and kept going. That's, this is pretty much what this should have been, okay?
I mean, it's the truth. It's the truth. Some people, some people should never make it past the one night. Some people should never, you should never go past the one night with them. If you go that far. If this, if this person should have fucked this person in the car. They shouldn't even took this person in the house. For real. Okay, outside behind a tree, some shit. Okay, bitch, scurry along. Right? I'm just saying. Because this person got a little bit too intimate and too open and too comfortable with this fucking karmic, this demon. This ruined their life. This ruined their life. Mm -mm. Look at that, Archangel Gabriel. Yep, and that's the divine truth. <laughs> Gabriel brings messages from God. It says, God's messenger, angel, known for delivering good news to key figures and warding off evil forces. Yeah, that's the truth. That is the, that is the God's honest truth. They never should have went that far with this person here. They never, this wasn't supposed to be, this was supposed to be a quick karmic lesson for your person. And that's it. That's it. But the devil had other plans. So a karmic child was born. A karmic child was born. Okay. Now this karmic child is going to take on the karma. Like this baby is going to be paying for shit that it didn't even do. Yeah. Look at that. Judgment. Yeah. Somebody's trying to avoid karma. It says inner calling, importance, decisions, karma. Time is now awakening, renewal, and announcement. Yeah, but it came out in reverse. Somebody's trying to avoid karma. Maybe this karmic is trying to avoid some type of karma. Maybe your person was trying to avoid karma because, I mean, they took the bait. I can't let them off the hook. They can't be let off the hook, collective. Wow, look at this. And look at you. It says, always forgive your enemies. Any, nothing annoys them so much. <sighs> so we got to forgive this this person I almost said something else but I changed my mind we got to forgive them okay because nothing annoys them you got to forgive your person you got to forgive the karmic we we got to forgive forgive them okay we got to all right we're not gonna let them block our blessings I almost said something else but I caught myself tell me more holy spirit See, yep, there it is. That's how you're going to get justice. You have, we got to forgive. We got to forgive. That's how this is giving God space to balance out the, balance out the scales. This karmic is going to get the most nasty. Ooh, Lord, have mercy. Ooh, I'm going to say this, and this is not for everybody. And if you're very sensitive to me saying stuff like this, then I'm sorry. I got to say it anyway. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bookies. I have to say it anyway, okay? I was going to say, this is giving God the space to balance out the scales. And then I was going to say, this karmic is going to pay the ultimate price for interfering in a divine connection. And then one of my guides said, this isn't for everybody, the baby that they're that they have is it's going to be something wrong with this baby. Something is going to go wrong with this child, and that's this karmic's karma. Like I'm like for somebody, the child has some type of mental or physical delay. That's this. That's the karma. That's a part of the karma for the karmic because this baby shouldn't have even been here. This was a force. This was forced. So since this karmic decided to try to go against God and bring a child here anyway to try to trap a divine being, then that's going to be the karma for somebody. And that's, oh my God, because I know I heard the Holy Spirit say the child is going to be paying off the, for the sins of the mother. Damn. Poor baby. That is so sad, y'all. That is so sad. Yeah, that's sad. Because this person decided that they was going to play God and override God and interfere in, his, in a chosen connection. 
You interfered in a chosen connection and two earth angels. Like earth angels are put together. Twin flames are put together for divine missions and purposes. Things that they, they're contracted to do for God here. When you do stupid stuff like this, you're trying to delay God's mission. You're trying to delay God's plans. He's not going to let that go unpunished. And if you use a child to try to block God's plans, then he's going to punish you through that child. Dang. Okay. Others of you guys, for, for those of you guys that the child is not like mentally or emotionally something wrong. Hold on, y'all. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. All right. So for those of you guys that the child, it does not have like, like a mental or a physical deformity, spirit is telling me that this child is going to be like, um, this child is going to have severe behavior problems, meaning they're not going to be able to get a grip on this child. This child is going to stay in trouble at school. It's going to get, this child is going to give them problems at home. Like it's, this child is going to give them hell. And that's that's pretty much what karmic kids do. They come in and they they their their job is to serve as karma. Yeah. And this and this karmic is gonna wonder why she have so much problems out of this child. Well, because you use this child as a weapon to block a divine union. That's why. Yeah. Look at that. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. So, hmm. Tell me more. The hands is in reverse. Yeah, the, this karmic, they don't have any type of divine protection. They lost protection when they did this. So, you know, divine protection kind of protects you from certain things happening to you and your children. They lost protection. Yeah, because spirit tried to guide this karmic. They tried to tell them. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. This karmic was warned. Okay, spirit tried to guide them how to do the right thing, but they didn't. So because they did not listen, they lost their protection. Yep. But they this she wanted this baby so bad. Or he wanted this baby so bad. I don't know how this went, but there's definitely a um a child that's going to be paying off the sins of their parents. Or come in giving their parents karma. There it is. Divine intervention. A higher power is stepping in to help you on your path. Ancestral and angelic help. Yep. Oh, wow. Can't make it up. Karma. Just like I said. This is karma. This is karma. Yeah. Yeah. What goes around comes around. Divine justice equal give and take. Cause and effect. More responsibility and consequences. The divine is doing this. Somebody forced a baby, did have a baby on purpose to keep a, a, a earth angel away from another earth angel who stepped in and pretty much tried to throw a wrench in God's plans. And God decided as punishment that this child is either going to be delayed mentally or they're going to be delayed physically. Or this child is going to have behavior issues that's going to be out of their hands and they're not going to have any type of control over this child. This is always going to be like, I'm hearing it's going to be a reminder of what 
this karmic did. This karmic, God is not going to let this karmic forget. This, they're going to be reminded every day when they look at this child. Yep. Dang. Yep. And this is divine intervention with karma can't make it up. Yeah, a higher power has decided on this. Crown chakra. It's going to be mental. In the moon, I swear, collective, I feel like it's going to be mental. Somebody's karmic child is going to be kind of going to have some type of mental delay. Crown chakra is how you connect. That's your mental space. That's your head. The moon, y'all ever hear like how people start acting out during the full moon? This, this represents like your emotions, your instincts, your subconscious, your mood. And even if the child has some type of behavior issue, that's mental. Something is going to go on with a karmic child and it's going to be all in their crown chakra, their mental space. This is like a curse. This is a curse. Damn. This karmic literally cursed themselves and they cursed their bloodline when they did this. When they did this. It is actually, it's actually very sad. But people don't think when they do stuff, when they take it upon themselves to try to play God and try to bend, bend um, fate, bend destiny and stuff like that. They don't think about the consequences, how this shit was come back and like come back on you. Yeah. House of philosophy, higher education, long distance, travel, foreign language, culture, religion, law, personal beliefs. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Eighth house, house of transformation, change, sexuality, death, rebirth, joint resources, and discernment. Intuition versus logic, choosing the higher road. Yep. They did not choose the higher road. This karmic did not use their discernment. They were just being selfish. They, they, they intentionally got pregnant or... They intentionally got pregnant or had a child to stop a divine union. To pretty much throw a wrench in God's plans. Okay. And I'm going to say this because somebody's still not really getting what I'm trying to say. You probably think I'm being mean. I swear I'm just the messenger, baby. Okay. I'm going to give the message. The word, the cards are going to come out to confirm what I'm saying. Don't be mad with me. Talk to spirit about it. My beef, your beef ain't with me. Go talk to God about it, okay? Because sometimes we think, you think humans can be cruel. Nothing, nothing could be more, more dangerous than the wrath of God. Nothing can be more dangerous than, than pissing God off, okay? You think we could be cruel and petty? If God decides that he's going to give you wrath, he's going to come down on you, it could be, it could be really ugly, and you would think like, damn, that is so cruel. Why would God allow that? But who are we to question God? We're not. Do I think, like, do it make me sad? Absolutely, the shit make me sad. I love kids. I love kids. I, I fostered for like five years. I love kids. I wouldn't want, I wouldn't wish this shit on my worst enemy. I wouldn't. But at the end of the day, divine connections are going to affect millions of people. These, these two people getting together sends out a frequency that's going to actually help the planet. It's going to help Gaia. It's going to help heal people. These, these connections need to come together to actually send off or give off a frequency that's going to help align people, help heal people, you know, all kind of stuff. So just the act of these two people being together is serving a greater purpose and mission. And when you have karmics that come in and do stuff to stop these, these people from getting together, you're not just affecting. She, this person is not just affecting you. They're affecting millions of other people. God is not going to allow one person to affect millions of other people and, and pretty much throw off his plan. 
That's just not going to happen. Because, you know, I feel somebody in the comment section kind of feel some type of way about, about that part. And I mean, I feel you to a certain extent, you know. Look at this. Look at that divine timing. Yeah, patience, the highest good for all parties, period. Divine protection, God's will will be done. Collective, that's just what it is. This is this is divine. This person got in the way of a divine plan. Kingdom business. This is kingdom business. And this person tried to use um, a, a, a baby to block kingdom business. And... I don't know. Fuck it. Let me pull something else. Okay. But just know that God's will is going to be done. And it doesn't matter who it offends. Okay. Everything has to be placed back into alignment. Karmic debts have to be paid off. And that's just what it is. Yeah. The higher fin. Yeah. So this is, you may be a higher fin. Your person may supposed to be some type of higher fin. Yeah, everything has to be brought back into some type of spiritual balance. Everything has to be, the scales have to be balanced out. Okay, you may, maybe you're like a spiritual leader or you're supposed to be like some type of spiritual leader or you and your person are going to be in this higher offense energy. Or maybe you're like the high priestess and your person is supposed to be a higher fin. Maybe you are high priestess and a higher fin. But this is kind of like the closest thing to God in the deck. It's the higher fin. Okay. For real, God is all over this. Tell me more. Let me tell y'all something. I, I just want to give y'all an example of how far God will go. What, what God's wrath look like, okay? And how sometimes, you know, it could be offensive to some people to see people get karma. It sometimes seeing other people's karma could, could, could kind of like offend you a little bit. It, it'll hit a tender spot. So one time, I think this was like a, two years ago, my daughter, um... My daughter had a, a grandparents dinner at the school. Okay. My, my mother lied like she was going to attend this grandparents dinner with my daughter. She did not attend. She stood my baby up. My baby came home crying. She was so crushed. She was so hurt that her grandma lied to her. So her, mind you, my mother is a karmic. Okay, so I mean, I expect nothing less from her. Nothing less, nothing more. Okay, so seeing my baby cry made me cry. I'm angry. I'm hurt. I'm like, man, like, how could you lie to my baby? Have her at the school, sad. Everybody else is eating with their grandparents, with their grandmother. And, you know, you just lie to her. So I called my mom and I said, mom, why did you do that? Why did you not come why did you stand my baby up and she was like well my dog was finna go in labor and i needed to be there for the dogs the dogs finna go in labor i say so you mean to tell me you put your dogs before your grandkids i said that's awful that's awful my mom was like well you can say what you want but you know blah 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 i said okay cool so I prayed about it. I said, God, I need you to balance the scales. I said, my mom stood my daughter up for her dogs. And I said, I don't think that's right. I said, I need you to do what you have to do to balance the scales out. Do you know, um, the next day, my mom dog went in labor. I think she had like a litter of like, was it 10? 11, probably a little bit more. Oh, all of them died. The dog ate every last fucking one of them. And the ones that the dog didn't eat, they just died naturally. One of them survived, but the dog's face is completely mangled. The ba the dog head won't even grow. The dog has a big ass body and a small ass fucking head. And I remember like 
telling my sister what happened. And my mom, the, um, my sister was like, oh, my God. And I said, all I had to do was go in there and pray about it. I didn't tell God what to do. I told God to look into it. I said, God, my mother put those fucking dogs before my daughter. I need you to fix this. I said, my mom broke my daughter's heart for some dogs. I need you to fix this. God put them dogs in a fucking blender. That was karma. My mama lost so much fucking money. She was so mad. See, because my mom is all about the money. She's all she's always been like that. It was always about the money. She don't give a fuck about them dogs. It was always about the money collective. She was trying to, she was looking at the dollar sign. She was looking at the dollar sign, right? She was finna breed them and sell them. So, um, pretty much. I prayed about it. It wasn't even two days later. She had those dogs and I kid you not, none of them survived. So not, so you lost all the fucking money and the last dog that did survive, you can't do nothing with it because it's deformed. So pretty much you came out on a lose, lose end because you decided to break your granddaughter's heart. So God ran through your pockets and killed off your whole litter. So to a dog lover, you would say, oh, my God, that is so cruel. Those poor dogs. But God is just like, man, fuck them dogs. Look what you did to a human. Look what you did to an innocent little girl, a baby who didn't deserve that. You see what I'm saying? God's wrath could be mug. God's wrath could be crazy. You got to watch yourself. You got to watch yourself. Yup. Yup. And that's karma. And the shit happened like two days after I prayed. All I had to do was pray. I prayed about it. And that's why I be telling people, you don't want to, you do not want to fuck over a person that go to God for everything. You don't want to do that. You would rather me put my hands on you before I go get on my knees and I tell my father what you did to me. You would rather me spit on you before I go to my father and, and, and tell him what you did to me because he's going to get you where it hurt. If I put my hands on you, you're going to be mad a little while. You're going to get over that shit. But once he step in, he going to hit you where you always going to remember that shit. You ain't never going to forget that. Okay? That's why I say, y'all, don't take vengeance in your own hands. Pray about it. Pray about it. And now, and I call that, I call that dog Beetlejuice. She kept that dog. I call that dog Beetlejuice because his head a little and his body big. Every time my mama look at Beetlejuice, she gotta, she's going to remember how she broke her granddaughter's heart. She got to remember that. Yep. Give me one more. Hell yeah, God will get low. You think you can get low. God can get real low for you. His kids, he don't play that. He'll get real low. <laughs> Look at that, throw chakra. Oh my God, here it is. Can't make it up. Psalms 28 and 7. It says, the Lord is my strength, my shield, my heart trust in him. He helps me. My heart leaps for joy. I'm telling you, God will get low for you. You think you can get low? You think you petty? Ain't nobody more petty than God if he got to protect you. He going to do what it, and there will be casualties. He don't care. He's going to look after his kids. Remember that. Okay. All you got to do is communicate with him. Throw chakra energy here. All you got to do is communicate. Tell God what you need. Don't tell him how to do it. Just give him permission to balance the scales out and watch him work. Watch him work. Yup. Yeah. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him. He helps me. My heart leaps for joy. All you got to do is express it. All you got to do is tell God to fix it, to help you out. You being attacked. Okay. I need you to balance. I don't, baby, I pray in a heartbeat. I don't care. I'm never going to put my hands on you. I ain't never going to come after you. I'm going to pray about it. And I'm going to sit back and watch him work. Yep. Mm. It says, it is only with the heart that one can see rightly what is essential is invisible to the eye. So and let me tell y'all something else. Your person here, they, they at, at one point, they didn't see your worth. Like I said, this person, this karmic is superficial. 
This karmic is superficial, y'all. This is somebody who where they're worth visible for the world to see, right? So they may dress nice or they may buy expensive this and designer this and blah, 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 blah right? Yeah, all of their worth is visible for the world to see. That Everything they got, that's all they got. That's all they worth, okay? But you, you are worth more. Your worth is on the inside. Your worth is on the inside. It says, it is only with the heart that one can see rightly. Your person did not, they wasn't thinking with their heart, collective. All right? They wasn't thinking with their heart. That's how they, that's how they end up choosing this karmic. It says, it's only with the heart that one can see rightly. What is essential is invisible, invisible to the, to the eye, period. Yep. What was essential, what this person needed was, was not seen with the eye, was not seen with the naked eye collective. See, there it is. It says, second house, house of value, focuses on material and physical possessions, finances, self-worth, and personal value. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. This karmic, your person chose this karmic because of what they showed them, what they presented to them. That second house energy, your person got baited in by second house energy collective. House of values focuses on material and physical possess, uh, possessions, finances, self-worth, and personal values. Yep. That's your person got baited in. Because they couldn't see your value because you probably didn't appear to have a lot of money. You didn't dress a certain type of way. You didn't get up every day and put a, a ton of fucking makeup on your face. You didn't have all kind of all kind of cosmetic surgery everywhere. So you wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Like all kind of shit. Like you just, you was you. You was you. You wasn't walking around looking like a fake ass Barbie. For real, you was beautiful just as you were. You presented yourself just as you are. Yeah. And this person overlooked you. They overlooked you. Yep. And that's how they end up getting caught up with this karmic. Yep. Because your, cause your self-worth was, was, was invisible to the naked eye. This person had to see you with their spiritual eye. And they couldn't. And they didn't. Yep. Dang. Woo. Mm, that's why I say, y'all can't let this person off the hook. We can't let them off the hook because they was they was wrong as the day is long, too. And, you know, this ain't just the karmic's karma. They going through their own karma, too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um. Let me see. Let's pull, and then I got to wrap this up. All right, let's pull from this deck, you guys, and give me some final words for the Divine Collective before I get into another reading. Give me something to wrap, out the re wrap up the reading. Give me something to wrap up the reading. Mm, this person fell for a fake illusion collective. Yep. This this karmic was lying to them about their achievements. Well, I achieved this and I got that. And I got this going on for myself. And you know what I'm saying? They fell for an illusion. It wasn't real. And once the illusion wore off, y'all, the karmic was like, I got to do something else to trap this person. So they they did something more. They could have sold, sold a property or some shit. Or they took out a big loan and gave this person a lot of money. All kind of crazy stuff. Like, they was giving your person money and selling them dreams, just anything they could to keep this, to keep your person. It was fake. It was fake. And the last thing for some of y'all was this baby. This baby was the last resort to keep this person. Give me a final word for the divine collective. Now this person missing out on the key to life. They're missing out on their true love, a real divine sacred connection. This person's karma is, is, is shitty. Will of fortune in reverse. This person lost their destiny. You and this person was, but I mean, listen, I'm not going to be the one to say that it's completely over because you have two archangels that's here. So I know that this is a divine, like the angels are over this situation here. 
and they got something brewing behind the scenes. Like, I'm not going to say that it's over, but I am saying that they are keeping a lot of stuff hidden from y'all. Like, whatever they're doing about the situation, they're hiding a lot of stuff still because they want you to focus on something else right now. But what's meant to be, is meant to be. I'm going to say that. What's meant to be, is meant to be. And I don't care how something appears to be right now, but if God has written something, then nobody can erase it. That's just what it is. And sometimes, y'all, we be in our feelings. We be pissed off at the world, piss, pissed off to the highest passivity at a person. But if, if, if you're meant to be, unless God just say it is just best to end the contract. And let me tell you, there are some situations where God will cancel out a contract and write you a new contract and give you a new divine partner because you a twin. So you have to have a divine partner. OK, everybody don't have a divine partner. Everybody is not a twin. All right. There are some rare situations where certain spiritual laws are broken and God will destroy the contract and give you a new divine partner. If this person did any type of spell work on you that could have cost you like your life. Like if this person did any death magic, if this person physically like took sex from you, they physically assaulted you. Um, there are certain rule. There are certain deal breakers that, that it just pretty much null and voice the contract. God will go in, destroy the contract and write you a new one, give you a new divine partner. And the show must go on. Okay, the show go it, it'll go on, but I don't see that this person did any of that. I see that this person just got blindsided and they made a bad choice. They made a mistake, and they're paying for their mistakes. I don't. I see something different with this one. Yep, that like. Ooh, and normally those twins that do stuff like that, they get sentenced to spiritual prison. So they don't be fit for nobody. All right. God put them in spiritual prison. And some of those actually get physically wiped off of this earthly realm, too. Because what what are you serving being here if you're not serving most high? If you're not doing what you're supposed to do at all? Why are you here? OK. All right. It says breakthrough. Navigate life. Many twists and turns with elegance and resilience, magic opportunity. Yeah, inner vision, cut through the fog of confusion with your power of discernment. See what's real. So they need y'all to use y'all discernment. There's going to be some type of divine breakthrough with your person, with the whole situation. There's going to be some type of divine turnout with this person. It says gentle release. Let yourself surrender to the flow of life's mis mis mysterious currents. Just go with it. So they're like, just go with the flow. You ain't got nothing to worry about. What's yours is yours. Can't nobody take what God said belongs to you. Okay. I mean, on no level. Yeah. This karmic thought that they did their big one by trapping this person, but they really trapped themselves because what they going to do when God reach in there and wrap and grab this person away from them. Now they're stuck with a karmic child. They're stuck. Okay. They did this to themselves. This karmic is going to be stuck with stuck with their own karma. And you're still going to get what's destined for you. Can't nobody stop what God got for you. It says on your own, it's time to take some alone time or be single to get a new perspective, spiritual retreat. Yeah. So take some time out for y'all self collective. It's okay to be by yourself for a little while. And I know some of y'all like, oh my God, it's been so long. That's okay. God is working with you. You're going through some type of awakening again. You're seeing things from a, new, from a different perspective. Give me another message. Give me one more. Yeah, soul whispers. It says, look beyond the words and hear what is really being said. Learning secrets and the truth. Yeah. It says cutting edge, slice through obstacles and carve a path towards your dreams. Clear the way. This is kind of giving Ace of Swords energy, though. This person is eventually going to speak some type of truth to you. But I'm getting <coughs> you may get the truth spiritually first. With the soul whispers and the sword, this is giving someone speaking to you telepathically, spiritually speaking some type of truth to you. So pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to your dreams collective. 
So I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. Let me know in the comment section down below what you know. Peace.